Bad sensor is a highly specialized sensor that can do wonders for both photo and videography. Previously, we have seen this bad technology used in LiDAR technology and time of flight in iPhones, PET scanning, and many others. But recently, Canon has brought its 1 megapixel SPAD sensor, which many experts have labeled as a groundbreaking invention. So, how camera enthusiasts and professionals are going to be benefited from this sensor? In this video, we are going to discuss this very topic. So stick till the end of the video to learn the incredible capabilities of Canon's 1 megapixel SPAD sensor. A CMOS sensor measures the amount of light from each pixel within a time. On the other hand, a SPAD sensor detects individual light particles, more specifically, the photons reaching to each pixel of the sensor. A SPAD sensor is capable of converting each photon into an electric charge instantly. Then those signals are multiplied and added together to form a large signal that can be processed. But you might be wondering how those nerdy terms can help photography and cinematography in the real world. When it comes to noise level, the 1 megapixel SPAD sensor captures little to no noise compared to a CMOS sensor. Now let's know why. Light entering the CMOS sensor is measured as electric signals. Now if these lights contain any noise, they are also converted into signal and thus the noise. Meanwhile, a SPAT sensor only counts individual light photons which makes it harder for noise to be converted into an electrical signal. This is why with a SPAT sensor, you will get a noise-free and sharp image like never before. CMOS sensors read light as electric signals by measuring the volume of light that accumulates in a pixel within a certain time frame, which makes it possible for noise to enter the pixel along with the light particles hence contaminating the information received. Meanwhile, SPAT sensors digitally count individual photon particles, making it harder for electronic noise to enter. This makes it possible to obtain a clear image. Canon's 1 megapixel SPAT sensor is fast. But how fast is it? Can you make a guess on how many FPS Canon's 1 megapixel SPAT can capture? 100 frames? How about 24,000 frames per second? Yes, you heard it right, Canon has made it possible with its bad sensor. Moreover, Canon's bad sensor comes with a global shutter that eliminates distortion and the rolling shutter effect. The global shutter can reduce exposure time as short as 3.8 nanoseconds and thus making 24,000 frames per second possible. As a result, the sensor can record slow motion videos of phenomena occurring at an incredibly rapid pace and that previously couldn't be recorded. Can you imagine capturing the video of a beam of light is being obstructed and reflecting from one glass element to another? With a sensor that fast, it is all now possible. So another important question is, why Canon is after the SPAT sensor rather than commonly used CMOS sensor? Well, there might be many reasons for that. Firstly, the CMOS market is already captured by Sony, a brand that has earned an excellent reputation for doing really good in bringing new technologies to their CMOS sensor. So a head-to-head -head competition would be tougher for Canon. Thus, instead, Canon might be trying to gain attention and earn the trust of being a reliable manufacturer of sensors by bringing in the groundbreaking 1 megapixel SPAT sensor. So the bottom line, we might see Canon producing more CMOS sensor and fighting for market share with Sony. Another possibility is Canon might be entering a new business niche. Canon has also invested in X-ray and other specialized sectors. As SPAT sensors are capable of doing extraordinary things, entering into a more specialized niche, like lab experiments where chemical reaction videos are taken to the molecular level, is totally possible for Canon. But to know the exact reason, we have to wait another couple of years. So that was all about the Canon's groundbreaking 1 megapixel SPAT sensor, which features breathtaking ultra-high FPS imaging with an elevation of pixel count. Though Canon is not going to launch a camera with this SPAT sensor anytime soon, 
We can expect that, in the future, Canon might announce a new camera line with this sensor, which may be ultra high-speed EOS. So what are your thoughts about this 1 megapixel spat sensor? Let us know in the comment section.